Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on the video. I'm Will, and I'm gonna show you how to fit more words onto a slide in Apple Keynote by simply building out text boxes while new text boxes build in. It's a great way to keep your audience's attention and not overwhelming them with too many words on the screen. It's super easy, so let's get right into it. So right off the bat, this is the slide that I have built, and we're talking about Joseph Stalin, so you know that's what this presentation is on, and so this is one slide in that presentation. But um, in order to accomplish this, we're gonna have four bullet points on the slide. However, what I like to do, instead of just having four bullet points on there, I like to keep three at a time and pull one off and add one on. And that way the, the audience's eyes stay on the screen and they stay engaged with what you're talking about and what you're presenting on. So in order to accomplish this, it's pretty simple. You just highlight all four of your text boxes, make sure they're in the order that you want them. We're gonna give them a build in because right now they're not even built in. Let's just go with a simple dissolve build, which means they dissolve one by one onto the screen. So the next thing that we have to do is we have to take this top one and give it a build out. So we're gonna use move out. I like move out for this example. I think it just looks the most seamless. We're not gonna go left to right. We're gonna go right to left and take away the bounce. Make sure you're doing this under the animate tab, not the format or document. And so, as you can see, if you click on it, then hit preview, it just pulls right off to the left. Um, it, looks, it looks pretty seamless, I like it a lot. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this bullet point, the second one, go to action, and we're gonna move it. And so, as you can see, it moves, and so we're gonna move it exactly where that text box used to be. We're gonna go to the third bullet point and do the exact same thing. Go action, move, and we're going to move it where the second bullet point used to be. Then what we're going to do is we're gonna stack this one on top of this one because by the time it builds in, it'll be there by itself. So it may look a little bit weird now because you have two text boxes stacked on top of each other. Go to build order, and as you can see, there's dissolve, 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 dissolve. Here's where you gotta make sure your order is correct. So we want the first one to build in, the second one to build in, the third one to build in, but before the fourth one builds in, we need to put this last. And what I like to do is I highlight move and with the move out and you go with previous build. And so that way, if you can kind of visualize it, first bullet point comes in, second bullet point comes in, third one comes in, the animation happens, the fourth bullet point comes in. And if you have it in that order, it looks like this. Bullet point one, bullet point two, bullet point three. The top one comes off, the other two move. Third bullet point, or technically the fourth bullet point comes in, but you only keep three on the slide at a time. And so this is the simple way to do this. However, um, I have slides where like I have upwards of 10 different um, text box building in and building out and just cycling through. So as I'm talking, my audience only really gets three bullet points at a time. So they're not very like overwhelmed with too much information. So another cool thing that I like to add to a slide like this is as I put the bullet points up there, I will have a speech bubble coming off of it, like, you know, with an additional question to remind myself to ask uh, the audience or something like that, or just a neat fact. Um, and then I might go to other bullet points and then another one might pop up and it just kind of, it, it's cool because like it keeps the audience engaged, but also at the same time, it might remind me to say something in case I forget to say something and it's kind of a cool way to just keep the audience engaged. And so as you pull away the top one and the bottom one comes in, um, speech bubbles can be a cool thing. I have a video on them. I'll link them up in the top right corner right now if you wanna go check that one out. And combining these two ideas really can be cool. And so yeah, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if it has helped you at all. Leave a comment below if you have a follow-up question or you want to know how to do any other cool things with Apple Keynote, and maybe I'll make a video on it. I'm always here to help.